Yeah, Tyler, good to see you again, sir. Uh, how do you anticipate making the strides offensively this year that you seem to make defensively last year? Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely a lot more focus on that side of the ball this year. Um, you know, I know it was a down year for me in the in the average department there. Um, still able to do some damage, but um, obviously not the way and as much that I would have liked and the staff would have liked. So. Um, got some stuff to prove, and uh, you know I don't have a problem with that. I have a lot of confidence in my ability, and I'm um, not worried about a thing. Do you see some areas that you need work in? I didn't really hear him there. Can you repeat that, Rick? Do you need some specific areas that you need to work on offensively? Well, I think I just need to continue to work on my timing, continue to uh, trust my eyes and see the ball, not think too much up there, not get too boxy. Um, and not get too mechanical. It's just be a little more free flowing. Um, you know, I've been working with uh, Jeff and Joe Bell. I've been down here for a couple of weeks now, and uh, you know, working working my tail off all off season on um, what I want to accomplish. And you know, I think the biggest thing for me was identifying what I want to accomplish, and uh, just really having um, a smoother rhythm up there and trusting my eyes is going to be dividend. It's going to pay dividends for me. Do you think, in general, that that some Cardinal fans are, are selling the Cardinals outfield short as far as what they can produce this year, given on what, what happened last year. I don't pay attention to what the fans say, honestly. All right. Thank you. Dispatch. Hey, Tyler, I wondered, you've been through these full squad workouts in spring training multiple times before. How is today different? I mean, we can see, you know, no fans out there, as you just mentioned. Um, not usual crowds. Um, I wondered if, what other things that you felt were different and how do you guys try to find some normalcy of connecting as a, as a team, creating, you know, a, a group kind of cohesion yep. in this, in this situation. Definitely Derek. Um, I think, uh, I think um, us as players and us as a staff and as an organization are not going to be caught off guard this year with the COVID restrictions and everything that happened last year. I think we're coming into spring with a, you know, a clear vision of how we're going to go about things and, um, you know, just just the outline that we're going to, um, the schedule outline that we have and everything is, is super uptight. Um, uh, you know, no, we uh, we we're we're in a good spot, I think, where we're at, and uh, it'll be nice to see some fans in the ballpark this year as long as everybody's staying safe. How was it for you uh, hopping right in against uh, Cabrera and Helsley day one? I know you've been working out here, but to see those those two coming at you for live BP, what was that like? Yeah, no, it was good. I mean, those are obviously flamethrowers in the back end of our bullpen. So, um, you know, I, I, I welcome the challenge, and I feel like that's a great way to start the first day and, um, you know, get my eyes going early. That's good. Jeff Jones, Belleville News Democrat. Hey, Tyler, I needed to ask the, the most pressing, important question of the spring. Why uh, why the number change? Yeah, I just thought it was time for a change there. Um, 41 was obviously the, the number that I debuted with and the number that I won the gold glove with. But uh, I felt like there was a, you know, a maturity aspect that I that I wanted to hold um, with the with the 27. And um, that was kind of the ballpark where I wanted to be anyway. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm liking seeing my name on top of that number there so far. Does that have history significance to you, or is, is that, or is that just sort of that's low and that's available? What was nope, the, the background? Just, uh, we're getting her going this year, and that's how we're starting. Thank you. 